I did have a positive relationship with church and then I didn't. Wear these. This is me reading my Bible. Mm. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to my new video. I am getting ready to go to church for the first time in years. Um, this is a kind of interesting video. Also, I was having such weird dreams last night. Like, last night was a crazy night. Um, I did take the liberty of rinsing my face because I had, like, jewel on it. So, hopefully, I don't still have jewel on my face. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Well, first I have to begin to brush my teeth because um, I don't think that, what's it called? I'm going to be able to talk while I brush my teeth. So let me brush my teeth. Okay. I hope I like this angle. Um, I'm very thirsty right now. So I'm just going to drink some of this right now. Let's talk about, before we talk about the beginning of me not going to church let's talk about the beginning of my experience i'm taking this off i'm taking it off i'm sorry it's not like it's bad it's just a protective style that i actually did wear out yesterday so i don't even know why i'm hiding it from y'all but anyways um it mask uh so i did have a positive relationship with church and then i didn't i don't know exactly know where things changed um i don't exactly know i feel like i always felt like church was an obligation because my family is heavily involved in like um religion so and bless him you know i understand bless him i get it now now i get it so i always felt like my relationship with god was not really a choice it really felt like an obligation and or and not always felt wait but at first i kind of just felt like yeah god is god blah 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 blah, blah whatever that's just something we don't question. And then I started feeling really hyper obsessed, I guess, which was really positive for me. Like I really did have a good experience, like loving God when I was very young. I used to write um, songs about God. I used to really get in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, I think that everyone's had a point in their life where their faith had qu qu quivered. Let's not say been broken because it hasn't been broken. It's not broken. It's just bent. Everyone's had this moment. Sorry, I'm putting on Kerikira. I'll show you when there's not on my finger. Um, I, I go down here because I get pimples. Anyways, um... So everyone's been there, but mine was a lot, um, which is fine. I stopped going to church at a very young age because I was being rebellious and I didn't want to go to church. I felt like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it, I had no reason. Um, and then I started again in my adult, my teenage years which was great for me. Um, I really had a good time. I used to go to this youth. That was interesting. Um, youth is very interesting. I think every anyone who's ever experienced youth has felt like it was interesting. Um, but besides that, yeah. And then I stopped again. I stopped around the beginning of my early adulthood and 
I just never went back. I never looked back. And I feel like that is something that, like, I don't want to say that it needed to happen, but I think that I needed to feel more connected to God. And I feel like I needed to feel like God was um, more than just an obligation. You know what I'm saying? And it sounds really messed up and it sounds really weird, but I feel like that's how I felt. I felt like, you know, God is God is now, that's why we love him. But that's not true. There's so much more to God than just an obligation. Sorry, am I putting way too much? I don't know. I'm talking to y'all, so I'm getting bold. Um, so that's just how it was. And you can tell me in the comments, like how you first rediscovered God. This is what I use on my face. I always show you guys, but just in case I have the burps that I drank water, just in case you haven't seen me yet, this is what I use on my face. Um, so that's me. So I'm running a bit late, so I have to finish my hair real quick. I'm getting so hot because I dressed in a panic. Um, yeah, I'm basically panicking because I don't want to be late, but I just I'm telling myself that there's nothing wrong with being late at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm just going to do ponies. But I just have to accept the chaos. What it is, is this even in the same place? Is it? No. But I think it's better. It's better than the other place? Mm. Okay. I'm not even doing it, so it's not a good thing. We put it on the shoulder. Anyways. I'm just gonna wear some simple earrings. Wear these ones that I wear every day. Real church auntie, speaking of the glory of God. Okay, let me get my shit together. Do it again. is me reading my Bible. Mm. T. That's T. That's word. So we just got back from Thursday Mass. Um, it was really nice. I had a really peaceful time. I feel like it was so peaceful. Like I can't even describe it. Um, 
was so lovely. I received communion for the first time and obviously way back. Um, that was nice. I felt a little scared because I, um, obviously I didn't remember all of the, the, the stuff that we say during church. It's a Catholic church anyways. So I didn't remember all the stuff. So I felt a little bit nervous and a bit embarrassed, but, um, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I feel like God spoke to me halfway through and he was like, you don't have to be embarrassed. You're here, you're trying and you're receiving. So I just went with the flow and, and I think, um, towards the end, I really stopped overthinking and I really just embraced what was going on. Now. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for coming along with me while I got ready and I actually wasn't late. I was actually kind of early. So that was period per, you know, of me. So yeah, love you guys and I hope to see you again in my next video. Oh yeah, and I did my nails, but bye.